Hello guys. Um, so, um, my insurance runs out on um, Monday. So I've just been for a quick blast on the bike just to charge the battery. Because um, I don't think I'm not going to renew it straight away, I don't think. And I've just started this one up. Now, the, my battery's fucked on this one. So I had to borrow a battery off Neil to get it started. Um, but I am started up in probably a month at least and it cracked up straight away which I'm really pleased about but it's red hot I've just burnt my fucking hand on there as well in fact I'll show you look oh no you can't no but that's rot it's hot um, so what I'm gonna do now is in preparation for this engine I'm gonna dig this frame out and then um, I'm gonna put a front end on it and um, a shock, a, a rear end, a swinging arm, get it into a rolling chassis, and then it's somewhere for me to put the engine. Then um, the one in my shed that I've just done. So I shall do that, I think. So what I'll do now is I'll dig all this shit out and um, get it ready, and we'll start putting it together. So we've uh, sort of like got a Mad Max type machine with a fucking hard tail suspension well actually there's no suspension on it so the bit of wood's holding it up and um, I need the um, uh, sorry on this side the uh, rear caliper bracket thing on and I bloody had it at home as well I wish I'd have brought it down now um, I can't find a front wheel spin spindle anywhere so I need a wheel spindle and spacers for both sides then that'll then the front wheel will be held in properly and I also need I've got loads of shocks but I've not got the um, thingy underneath the knuckle and the uh, the dog bone things so I need to get some of them although I've got some brand new ones somewhere but um, yeah we'll, we'll see so basically all I want to do is just get it into a, a rolling chassis like this and then I can put the engine in then and then the engine's not going to get knocked about um, and it's easier to wheel about so the first thing I need to do like I say is get a front wheel spindle the knuckle um, the nuts and bolts for the shock and bring the uh, rear caliper mounting thing down so um, I've got a side stand there for it but obviously I can't put that on just yet until I uh, well, actually, I might be able to. I might have a few nuts and bolts down here where I can just shove that on for now. Um, so I might do that. Um, so I'm afraid this is going to be it for today. Um, so as soon as that's done as a rolling chassis, then, I, like I say, I can get the engine down and we can get it fitted. And then it's out of my shed and it's somewhere safe inside a frame. Um, so bear with us. Right, so I found a tub of bolts down here, which I've used to fasten the side stand on. So, like I say, I need the... I've uh, got the rear shock. I just need the knuckle, the dog bones, the nuts and bolts, the rear caliper bracket, and the front wheel spindle. So, um once that's on and in, then I can get this engine down and uh, we can fit the engine and then um, at least move it about and it's out of my shed as well and um, it's, uh, it's something to have a go at and see if I can get it started. So. Um, I think that's about it today then guys, I'm going to put all this shit back, I'll put all this back in the Gary in unit, my bikes, and then all this shit, um, I need to fucking sell that lot, and then uh, we'll give it a go. Right, so I shall uh, see you in the next video.